I'm not that happy with it, to be honest. We spent so long, I've ruined the fucking grass. So I'm hoping we start it up. Shut up. I'm pretty sure it was plugged in. Good morning, people. It is a couple days later. It's actually sunny. I don't want to jinx it. Let's hope it remains sunny. We've got a lot of things to do on the Mustang today. We've got a lot of things to do. Firstly, it's booked in to get wrapped. We're going to wrap it next week, uh, end of next week. So we need to finalise prepping it. Finalise prepping, we need to fill in the little dents here. There's a dent here and a dent on the other side. So we need to do some dent work. We need to clear this wrap up, which I'm not looking forward to doing. Hopefully, if we get a heat gun, that might come off, unlike the stickers. We need to clean all this off. We need to sand this, uh, sand this lack a bit down and just kind of prep the whole car to get wrapped. There's a little dent here. And that's about it dent wise so we've not got too much filler in to do but if you remember in the last episode oh we also need to use the caramel wheel to get the last of these bloody glue stickers off and get these damn things off finally i spent hours on these damn stickers remember the last episode we did the bumper so let's pull the bumper out and see how it's see how my resin has held up okay let's peel off all the masking tape hopefully the bit with it hopefully this peels off because the resin's kind of stuck oh lovely perfect let's peel it all off and see how, see if it like well let's see how strong it is there we go so there's the crack so obviously it doesn't look the best right now but it's strong seems strong as shit to be fair and it's somewhat like well it's where the crack used to be so i think that like it looks good so what we need to do we need to put a load of filler over this today we need to fill in the holes fill in the cracks and we need to sand that somewhat smooth it's never going to be fully smooth because obviously because it's, it's it's not a full piece anymore but we need to get that sanded smooth um and let's have a look at the side as well so let's remove the vice grip yeah we need to do a lot of sanding on that but that's also seems very strong over there i weren't too bothered about this because at the bottom of the bumper so you don't really see it so yeah today we're gonna do a filler in the stuff all right what we're also gonna do something that we've not done in a very long time we're gonna paint our own wheels i can't wait i've not done this in so long the wrap that the colors go in is gonna look stupid on silver wheels so we're gonna paint paint the, paint the wheels what am, I, what am i going on about so i don't know how much paint i've got so, and i don't know if it's gonna start raining so I'm just going to do two, so I have to quickly move two under cover, it's a lot easier than moving four. And also I don't know how much paint I've got. Right, I just professionally masked them. Um, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing to be honest, I'm not a painter but it's going to be okay. I've got some different sandpapers, I'm not going to spend hours, we're just going to just quickly flat them over. Not too much curb, I'm just going to do like 240, bit of nylon, that's for the filling for the bumper and the car. We're just gonna, I don't know, we're just gonna do some things and we're gonna prime some things and paint some things. It's all right, it's all good. We're gonna have a traditional paint off, okay? That's your wheel. This one's my wheel. We'll see who gets the better wheel. Right, they're prepped, but I can't be really fucked doing it anymore, so we're just gonna send it. I'm actually incredibly excited. This is, I mean, the, the boring part's done. Well, I mean, we've, we've done about 30% of the boring part. It's not gonna look amazing, but I don't give a shit. But I've not painted wheels in like years. And especially since I don't really give a shit about how they come out. As long as they're black at the end, I'm gonna be happy. So this is great fun. Something oddly satisfying about painting stuff. Doesn't help when it's fucking windy though. I, I fucked up a little bit by wet sanding it too early. But I don't give a fuck. Nice light coat at first, just dust it on. Fucking wind! It's going everywhere but the wheel. While that black's dry, I'm gonna smash out the bumper. Um, it's pretty strong and it's all filled in. The crack's all filled in with the resin. Um, a lot of the holes are like really deep, so I'm pretty sure the filler will just sit in there. So we're gonna sand this smooth so the filler sticks to it. Fill it with filler. Flat the fill down and then prime it and just leave it primed. That's the plan. So we've got some plastic bumper filler in there, so it's a lot more flexible. So we're gonna mix that up, whack it on, just let it set. It dries pretty quick to be fair. So for now I'm just gonna get some sandpaper and we'll just smooth all this as flat as possible. So it's a 10 to 1 ratio of filler to hardener. So let's imagine that's 10. And that's about one. A bit more than that. Scoop it on. Okay, a lot more. It should 
look something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that there, let it dry, and then we're just going to basically sand it all smooth and a nice shape. Do you know when you ring shops and they give you prices to do wheels and you think, I could probably do just as good as the job for cheaper. I've probably spent, I reckon around maybe 60 quid to do these two wheels. It's probably worth in the future, maybe just paying the 60 quid per wheel <laughs> to get someone. Uh, I mean the black, Looks like they've been crayola on. Uh, I'm not that happy with it, to be honest. I went through a whole kind of lacquer just to get them to look glossy, and they don't look glossy. Uh, some angles they look. Well, that one doesn't. Some angles, like they, it looks okay there. We spent so long. I've ruined the fucking grass. The thing is, I actually had someone come up to me on the drift day, literally three days ago, and said, I've just started a powder coat company. Which can I do a set of your wheels for you free? For free. And because I've got respect to my guys, Allo Wheel Fix down south, I said, I can't, unfortunately, because I'm Allo Wheel Fix. So Allo Wheel Fix, if you're watching this, I now have to ride around on these shit wheels because of my ultimate respect for you guys. I'm obviously not going to drive 400 miles to get painted wheels that cost me a hundred pound. So, I've got a rattle cannon in the fucking wind. In the rain, it's rained as well. Right, so one thing we're gonna change because I have noticed, I've noticed with the car, it does run a little bit rough when it gets hot and stuff. So I don't know when the last time the spark plugs have changed, but I bought eight spark plugs. I pray that they're Bosch genuine ones. I got these from eBay for 14 pound for eight of them. Uh, Salt Lois and I got those. Well, apparently these are super plus nickel. Don't know what that means, but I hope they're real Bosch ones anyway. It's got Bosch on the on both of them. So we're gonna fit the spark plugs. There's eight of these. It's annoying about the V8, you gotta change eight blue spark plugs. Hopefully they're easy, but yeah, I mean, if it may, I don't know. I mean, they need changing. I'm, I'm intrigued to see the state of the ones that come out as well. Um, it, I've, I've had the cars running and yeah, everything. I have, some people said it doesn't sound like it's running eight cylinders. I've actually had the car running and pulled every coil pack and it is actually running on all eight cylinders. On the drift day, it did lose power when it got really hot. So I'm not sure if it's something to do with the heat soak. As I've said, uh, we had an issue with the intake air temperature sensor, which could have caused that. But I just thought, let's change the plugs. There's, there's, you know, there's no reason not to. Very intrigued to see these spark plugs. I'm very intrigued to see, you know, how old they look and uh, checking each cylinder as well. See if any are running like rich or running lean or if they all look the same. Um, so I'm very intrigued. And I also don't know when the last time these plugs were changed. So I'm hoping we start it up. Shut up. Shut up. Can you, what? Mate, what a stupid, oh my God, that is, how am I meant to get in there? They've literally, the intake plenum goes over the hole. Can't believe this, I'm gonna have to grind down a socket just to get the fucking spark plug out. Right, there we go. That's a ruin a socket to get a fucking spark plug out. <laughs> this last cylinder isn't being very nice to me. Just get the spark plug. So you see the trouble I just went through? No, but someone didn't do that in the past because it's a different fucking spark plug in that cylinder. That's been in for about seven years. This is one of the worst designed engines I've ever come across in my entire life. Seriously, this is an absolute piss. I'm gonna have to grind this down even more. I can't get it in the final two. Like, fuck me, honestly. What a joke. Uh, I got them all out, nothing looks too suspicious to be fair they all look pretty similar don't know how old the plugs are one of them's different one of them is a bit black which is uh front right cylinder but pretty much all okay so let's put the new plugs in and fire up well right, let's fire up see if it's made any difference Actually, I had one of the injectors unplugged then, so you would never even be able to bloody tell. Unless I've got an injector out, maybe, and that's why it's. I don't know if 
have not made any difference then. Well, it's a little bit rougher, and then hang on, watch it. Yeah, so really rough. A lot better. Okay, yeah, all injectors are firing. I did have this one unplugged when I started it up, so it actually might have made a better difference actually. Maybe it's a backfire. It does actually feel a lot better. There was an injector unplugged. I'm not sure if that's always been unplugged or if I just unplugged it. But I put it back in and it revs a lot better. It literally revs. Has that always been unplugged? If we've done the inj the, if we've done that drift day with an injector unplugged, a what the fuck man, and B that's not fucking healthy. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure it was plugged in. I'm actually gonna have a look back at an old video of when I've been in the engine bay and be like, and have a look, because I've literally just plugged that back in and I, I must have just unplugged it when I was getting the spark plug out. I had to, right? Like it revs. Like it never used to pop like that, <laughs> did it? It never used to do that. It does feel a lot better. Okay, we just went and put the, the wheels on the car. They actually look, they actually look all right to be fair. I'll show you uh, in a little bit, but we've got the bumper here. This is dried. So we're just gonna start flattening this down. We've got a little bit of a block sand and we've got some like 80 grit and stuff. So let's start flattening that down and hopefully we can get it smooth. Start nice and coarse, so 40 grit just to get the big, you know, the lumps off. Okay, this is where I'm at. It still needs a bit more. Unfortunately, one of the cracks at the top has failed, but the main one here is fine. And that sits under the headlights. I'm not too fussed. I have soon flattened down most of it as well, getting the lacquer peel off. It needs a lot more, but I'm absolutely knackered. Uh, and I need to move my car, to be fair. So, still a little bit more flattened down, but I'm gonna leave these holes. I'm just gonna wrap over the holes, I don't give a shit. Uh, need to get rid of all this paint that's flicking here because the wrap's not going to stick to that. But we need a bit more on the bumper. We're going to put the bumper back on, go for a bit of a spin. So I'm intrigued to see what it dries like now. It's got the new uh, coils, the plugs, and potentially another injector. Right, so here it looks like with the black wheels. I, what I am going to do, I'm going to give them a bit of a, uh, once they're fully dry, I'm going to give them a bit of a, uh, a wet flat, a wet sand, just to kind of because they look a little bit bumpy at the minute. So if I wet sand them, actually I might go and do that now real quick. Give them a bit of a wet sand and it should make them a little bit glossier and not so flat, make them a little bit deeper. But it actually suits them miles better being black. It makes the car look a hell of a lot angrier. Okay, uh, I forgot that I'm not going to polish. So I've just wet sanded them and it now looks absolutely outrageous because I'm not going to polish. Um, shit. So we're taking it for a quick spin. Um, there's still that knocking at the back, so I don't know what that is. I mean, I've still not changed the brake pads yet, so it could be that. But the car does feel a lot perkier. It's the helmet. It honestly feels so much perkier. Like, it feels a lot faster, and it feels a lot talkier down low. So if I'm just rolling in for my second here, third, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's, it was, it was definitely a bit, a bit lacking, a bit sluggish earlier. Still think we need to do a bit more bleeding on the brakes because it's still a little bit. Right, I'm gonna end the video here. What we're gonna do is when uh, when I'm at Kieran's next, so I'll go down to Kieran's. I'll take this and I'll just get his polisher uh, and I'll just run the polisher over that bit that I fucked up. <laughs> just get some cutting compound or something and that'll just bring it back because obviously what I've done there is I've just, you can see it here, I've wet standard it, which has made it smooth, but now it's not like even. So we need to get some cutting compound, some polish, and then that'll just like come up really nice. Uh, I'm not too happy with the job of the wheels, but it looks better black than they did anyway. I need to do the rears. So we'll do the rears at another time. But for now, I'm absolutely knackered and it's Friday night, so I'm gonna go and get a bottle of wine. Um, love you all. We'll see you in the next one.